Welcome back to Skyrim. All right. Well, I've been uh, a little busy since the last episode. I came back here and I decided I wanted to do a little bit of stuff, not only with the alchemy, but also enchanting and even the smithing. And so I started out, I worked up some uh, stuff here. I started out making fortify enchanting potions. Uh, let's see. No, fortify smithing. That lets me improve armors and weapons 96% better for 30 seconds. Not too shabby. Okay, then I also did some enchanting. I have got a chest item, hands item, necklace, and ring. The three, the first three have enchant of, uh, well, they all have fortify smithing on them. And they, uh, the first three give me a 22% improvement. And the ring, 20%. I figure that's not bad. And what I did with that stuff, let me put this stuff in here for right now so that I don't go misplacing it. Yeah. And so I went down to... I, I decided to... Let me shut these ladies up. Or stop them from moving around a little bit. We heading out? Uh, I need to what see you your inventory. Like, she's got this blades stuff. And for some reason, leather boots and so on. I was able to, using that equipment and that potion, improve the stuff to legendary. Not bad. That uh, gives... Uh, and uh, the same kind I'll of thing here, then. with uh, Lydia's stuff. Where is she? In here? Well, oh, there she is. Yo. Ready to get going? Not yet. How can I serve you, my Thane? You can show me your inventory. Again, also, her stuff. Improved to legendary. And this should give both of them... I'll just be here, then. ...sufficiently better defensive capability that they'll be able to last a lot longer before they get to the point in a fight where they have to, you know, take a knee and bow out of the fight for a little while and heal up. This will be good. And I haven't done anything with my own gear yet because it's all enchanted and I do not yet have... Let's see, where is it? Uh, here it is. No smithing. I went right past it. What I don't have yet is the arcane blacksmith perk. But I'm really close to leveling, and I already meet the other requirements. So the next perk I have is going into arcane blacksmith. Yeah, absolutely. And then I'm going to start working up this side of the tree to get to glass smithing. And meanwhile, however, quest lies. I've got Season Unending and The Fallen, which are both saying talk to Arnir and uh, get this Peace Council thing going so that we can trap the dragon. I'll have the ladies stay here for a while. And I'm going to head up to High Hrothgar and get this show on the road so that we can get this political crap out of the way. Ah, uh, here we are. Okay, let's get this thing over with. Yo, Arnir. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. And I should not have agreed to host this council. Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Yeah, well, we'll get them to agree to at least a temporary thing. It's the only way to get Balgriff's help. Yes, 
Yes. Which is why I allowed this violation of all our traditions. Yeah, but well. regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Precious little, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah, here we are. Okay. And here comes Arnir. Okay, we got the Stormcloaks over here. We've got the Empire over here. Ellen Wen. What is she doing here? That Thalmor toady doesn't have any part in this. She really doesn't. This is an internal matter in Skyrim. All right. Take your seat. And now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. Come on, people. Let's get a move on. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. Oh, yeah? I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. Uh-huh. By Izmir's beard. The nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. Well, you are right. It is very true that Thalmor don't have any uh, business being here. And I'm not just saying that because that's a dialogue option. Uh, I mean, seriously, this is an internal matter between uh, the Empire and the Stormcloaks and the Greybeards and the Jarls and so on. The Thalmor have got no part in this. They are not part of Skyrim's government. So... I agree with I'm glad we agree Ulfric. on this. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. If you did, Legate, you'd shut your you mouth. represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? Can we get this I over have with? I something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Please. Jarl Ulfric. General Tullius. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? And you wouldn't do Yarr the same. 
General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely what out of character. I want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. Oh, yeah, I yeah. think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Uh, well... If you want to go for similarities, Dawnstar is a pretty small place. Riften is more similar in size and value, economically and whatnot, to Markarth, so I'm going to suggest Riften. Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. The Dragonborn has spoken, Talius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk with good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. Oh, shut up. I can see now that this is not a negotiation You were happy at all. about the Ripton thing. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the headsman's axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Oy. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? Oy, oy, oy. I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. Yeah. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Shores, bones, where will these demands end? I'm listening. <laughs> we want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial And your lies. boss told you to shut My up. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for this your butchery at... All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? Okay. Let's just, uh, go ahead with the compensation bit. Well said. For once you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. 
Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Oh boy, she's the gonna love that. will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. Uh huh. What about you, Elisif? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. Yep, it's The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Valgruf. I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes. I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. And apparently but I need the to difficulty talk to remains. Esbern over here. How to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temp, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Uh-huh, and this helps us how? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. And, well, that assumes he will come. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Curiosity, of course. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. And his name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in the scroll. Od a ving, winged snow hunter, as I read it. Ah, uh, okay, so there's a word of power. And here comes Delphine. There's what one do you more want? thing. Oh, yeah. We know about Parthenax. So? Turns out he's a dragon. Big deal. That's fine. We needed his help. Now we don't. And it's long past time for him to pay for his crimes. And he's not just any dragon. He was the right hand of Alduin. He committed atrocities so infamous they are still remembered thousands of years later. Oh, yeah, yeah. He needs to die. He deserves to die, and it falls to you to kill him until I don't he's think dead. So. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continued to help you. Uh huh. Uh, well, on the subject of Parthenax. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Hmm. And if I ask that question, she's just going to repeat the spiel. Let's find out. Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave oh. our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. You haven't talked to him, have you? Okay, well... I guess we're exiting that conversation for right now. Yeah. Anyway, let's see, what's the status of the quest? The Fallen, prepare, to tra prepare a trap for all Odoving, and 
Speak to Arnier and Parthenax. Okay, let's talk to Arnier about Parthenax, since we're right here. Wait a minute. Um, have I got too many quests turned on here? Let's speak to Arnier and Parthenax. And oh, one of them is pointing to Parthenax. Here's Arnier. Okay, let's talk to him. You did well here today. I don't think the truce will last long, but that will not be on your account. The Blades want Parthenax dead. Now you see why I've warned you against them, bloodthirsty barbarians. Well, was he Alduin's ally? Yes, but understand, during the days of Alduin's rule, all dragons were his allies. There was nothing else they could be. If not for Parthenax, Alduin could not have been overthrown. It was he that first taught men to use the Thum. Ah. Uh, well, don't worry. I have no intention of killing Parthenax. Kinnerith has placed the voice of wisdom within you, Dragonborn. All you need do is learn to listen to it, and your path will be clear. Okay. All right. Wind, guide you. Ah. Yeah, breeze guide you too. Okay. And I guess I need to go talk to Parthenax. Why does that keep flashing like that? All right. Let's go have a quickie chit chat with Parthenax about this thing and get this part of it settled. And if you think that it's that this whole thing is. A little bit outside of the vanilla quests, that's because it is. I have a mod called the Parthenax Dilemma that allows me to not have to kill Parthenax in order to maintain a good relationship with the Blades. Because I think that's reasonable. Fast traveling, throw to the world. Okay. And he's on his perch, as usual. Yo! Dremyolok, greetings. The Blades are saying you deserve to die. The Blades are wise not to trust me. Onikan Niov, I would not trust another Dova. You consider me another Dova. You trust me, don't you? Why not? Dov Walan Farel. We were made to dominate. The will to power is in our blood. You feel it in yourself, do you not? Oh, but of course. I can be trusted. I know this, but they do not. Onikan Niov Dova. It is always wise to mistrust a Dova. Until I you get to know I have overcome my nature only through meditation and long study of the way of the voice. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Zim grif horvut se suyek. What is better? To be born good, or to overcome your evil nature through great effort? Well, that should be an easy one to answer. Okay. Lok Thum. Lok Thum to you too. Okay. All right. That should give me... Yeah. So, my next time talking to the Blades... He is to be spared. I am not killing him. Meanwhile, we're getting ready to take care of Odaving. And I will come back in at Dragon's Reach when we're ready to do this thing. Ah, well, I'm on the way to Dragon's Reach here. And I just wanted to point something out. 
I have a solution for the screaming preacher. I found a mod, a fantastic mod. It's called Muffle Heimsker, the preacher in White Run. This guy right here. What that mod does is, well, there's actually two versions of it. One that makes him totally silent, and the one that I used, which makes him a lot lower volume. He's not... Now, when you're over on the other side of the place, you can't hear him. You can't hear him screaming all the way up here and all the way down in the market. <laughs> Love it. Fantastic. That's something that should have been the case right from the get-go. Now, let's go talk to the Jarl. Get this dragon trapping business in gear. Yo, Jarl. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. Okay, you're ready then. As Good. I promised. My men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. Okay. Let's do this. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. We'll manage. We'll manage. Let's go do this crap. Trap the dragon. Okay. Let's get Call Dragon equipped. Apparently, I don't have to unlock it. That's a good thing. And then. Probably dragon rend once he gets in there to keep him from taking off. All right. We're ready when you are. All right. Yo, Dernavir. Right, Aving. Or Odaving, or whatever your name is. You do have a plan for luring a dragon here, yeah? Yeah. Okay, switching shouts to Dragon Rend. Hear that? Here he comes. Whoa. First guard in space. Steady, steady now. Keep under cover until it's down. Nova Keen, here I am. Yeah, get your butt down here. All right, come on. There we go. Got him. What do you got to say for yourself? Need. <laughs> I think it's holding. Of, of course it's of, Caught like a bear in a trap. Humiliating, isn't it? Grin viki, dova keen. You mind translating ah, that? I forget. You do not have the Dova speech. My eagerness to meet you in battle was my undoing, dova keen. I salute your... Hmm, low cunning in devising such a Gramin Dol stratagem. Wasn't entirely my idea. Ubonar, 
You went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. Ooh, yeah. And Sir Alduin, hmm? No doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. No doubt. That's right. Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thumb for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thumb was truly the strongest. Give you a hint. Among no. ourselves, of course. Muni Mae. None were yet ready to openly defy him. And you were telling me where to find him. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesure, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. Of course. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafin. One of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Mindoran pa ok midove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Oh, of to course. Ofan Hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Well, we kind of need Alduin to be beaten first. Ah, well, hmm, Croesus, there is one detail about Skaldafin I neglected to mention. Of course there is. Only this. You have the Thurm of a Dova, but without the wings of one. You will never set foot in Skaldafin. Uh. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. <laughs> well... Should I take your word for it? Aran, you wound me, Dovakin. I may not tell the whole truth, but I am no liar. Go and see for yourself. Zu ni bo nor het. I will be here, unless Alduin returns before you do. Well, frankly, I'm sure he is telling the truth, and uh, I naturally suspect lying because everybody else around is a major liar. Okay. Oh. Incredible. Yo, Ferengar, what dragon. are you doing? Just think of the possibilities. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some uh, tests on you, purely in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Uh -huh. Ferengar, you really, really don't want to do this. Be gone, mage. Do not test my promise to the Dovahkiin. I assure you, you will not even notice me. Most of uh. them are hardly painful at all to a large dragon such as yourself. Faragar, are you incredibly stupid? He wants to poke and prod at the captive dragon. You Surely realize if he gets loose, you toast? Or a small... Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss oh, the shut up. hostilities, Dude, like the rest what of the great you warriors. are doing back there? Good day. Poos! What do you think you're doing? Come on. Tail, tail. Okay, maybe that wasn't a great idea. That takes care of that. Okay, I'm going to have to repeat this conversation, only not... We're using... ready when you are. Yeah. All right. I'm going to repeat this thing. And, uh... 
This time I won't use the dragon shout on Farangar. I thought it was a great okay, idea. Okay, I've been through the conversation again, chose all the same options, and Farangar is ready to do the stupid. What are you doing back there? Yeah, run. Sorry about that, old boy. He's an idiot. Trust me. Okay. I am going to call it here. And next time we'll pick this up. I want to get ready. Because, uh, as I understand it, once you travel to Skuldafin, the there is only one chance to come on to go in and come out and you know you just you don't just go there and then hop back and so on so i want to make sure i'm fully equipped and supplied because i will not have anyone with me to carry stuff or to help take care of part of the fight and whatnot so i'm going to get stuff in gear and then uh, next time we will take care of a trip to skull thanks for watching take it easy I am out of here.